Hello everyone, welcome back here to the channel. My name is Scott and I'm happy to be back. Uh, I want to give you two words right in the beginning before I get into what I'm going to talk about today. So the words are worth and worse. Can you understand the differences what I said there? I said two different words, they may sound similar, but I said worth and worse. Can you pick up the difference in the pronunciation? I'll get more to that later. What I want to focus on is the word worth today. W-O-R-T-H, worth. Now, worth has a, some good ideas on how to use it. Now, you might be familiar that worth is related to value, you know, cost of things and value of things. So let me give you some examples first based on the price or the value of it. So, uh, question form. How much is that antique desk worth? How much is that antique desk worth? Maybe it's worth... 2 million yen, maybe it's not. But worth is, what's the value of that? If you put it in the, if you put it in the monetary terms, how much is it worth? Number two, my second one here, I didn't think those old record albums were worth anything, but I was wrong. They were quite collector's items, like old Beatles albums, perhaps. So I didn't think those old record albums were worth much, but I was wrong. And worth them as the value of that those rec old record albums. Now, one more, um, and I'm gonna put it into a worth, but I'm gonna put it into a, the opposite idea. So that painting turned out to be fake, so it was worthless, worthless. Worthless meaning it has no value. Why? Because it was fake. So that old painting, or that painting, I didn't write old on the board, that painting turned out to be fake, so it was worthless. Okay, that's the monetary part of worth. Now there's also another worth that's, that's gonna be in a different situation. I'm not gonna put a price tag on this worth. Not a price tag in form of dollars or yen, but maybe a price tag in terms of being fun, enjoyable, or rewarding. That's also gonna be using worth. So let me give you an example first and I'm gonna explain it after that. So I stood in line outside that restaurant for an hour, but it was worth it. Why? Because the food there was fantastic. So even standing outside in the rain, perhaps, for an hour, it was worth it because that restaurant was absolutely fabulous. So we use worth in that situation where you find it rewarding. It was not a waste of time. Now, if the food was bad, it wasn't worth it. But the food was great, excellent, fantastic. So it was worth the wait. We use worth in that regard as well. Let me give you another one, um, the same idea. So it was worth coming here today because I was able to meet you. Sounds nice, doesn't it? So I, it was worth coming here today because I was able to meet you. So meeting you was very rewarding, fun, enjoyable, very good for me. So it was worth coming here today. We was worth in that situation. That's a nice idea. Now, let me give you another example with uh, the same, but a little bit negative idea. So it, it was not worth the effort, or I put it in past tense, but I don't need to. It is not worth the effort. Don't waste your time with it. Give it up, stop it, get rid of it, or whatever it is. So it's not worth the effort. There's no value, nothing rewarding, no fun, no enjoy, nothing enjoyable about it. So it's not worth the effort. Now I wanna give you an um, expression we use as well in English um, for what it's worth. Let me give you the sentence first and I'll explain. So for what it's worth, even though your idea wasn't accepted, I thought it was good it's for what it's worth. Now when you say for what it's worth, it doesn't really have anything to it because maybe something failed or wasn't accepted here. But in, if I give you my opinion, I put my opinion in, maybe make you feel better for what it's worth, I thought your idea was good. Now, there's not much to it because something had been rejected or failed. But for what it's worth, I thought it was good. Nice expression to use. And uh, I'm getting back to the pronunciation that I had in the beginning with uh, worth, with worse, and I put it into a sentence. So it's not worth seeing because it's worse than I thought. It's not worth seeing because it's worth, oh, I made a mistake. It's not worth seeing because it's worse than I thought. Now, if I say it's, for example, like a movie, so the movie's not so good. So it's not worth seeing. Don't see it. It was bad. It was even worse than I thought. So I want to put that sentence together only to show the differences in pronunciation of worth and worse. 
TH for worth and the S sound for worse. Practice that one. Worth, worse. All right, I hope you can pick it up. I really like to focus on pronunciation in these videos. So it's not worth seeing because it's worse than I thought. Please practice that one. Keep up your great work. Nothing will be worse for you. And hopefully it was worth tuning in today for this lesson and every lesson, every time. Thanks for coming by everybody and liking and subscribing and uh, leaving any comments or questions. We really appreciate it. Until next time, everyone have a great day and keep up the great work.